Hello YouTube and fellow card collectors, this is Eric J and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're continuing showing some of the cards that I collected when I wasn't in the sports cards hobby. Continuing on with Star Wars customizable card game from Decipher. The second set release was actually a re-release of the first set, which is an unlimited version of uh, the premiere set. 324 card set, just like the original one, half light side, half dark side. Because this was unlimited and white bordered, I only kept one set of these cards, just kind of have them, and the rest of them I got rid of over time. Um, <clears throat> you'll see on the front cover, if I didn't mention before, this is just some of the scans of what the product looked like um, in bo booster boxes booster packs and they also came in starter packs which are 60 card uh, packs with the rule book but anyhow we'll show all of the cards starting with the dark side ones and again one one sheet or one copy of each card main characters again one of the rarest ones to get mm. Actually, Darth Vader is probably the most expensive card remaining from this particular set. And probably get for a couple bucks. Um, I didn't really like playing with the white bordered cards as much as the black bordered cards. Just because when they're mixed together, they looked strange to me. But cards are available. The white bordered ones are generally cheaper. And then the black border counterparts, and of course this early set is vastly overproduced compared to some of the later sets, so uh, most of these cards are have minimal value at best. This set uh, came out in the spring of 1996, I think April was the official release month, um, and you know, made more of the first series available for those of us that played the game or the group that just liked to collect Star Wars things Star Wars cards just for the sake of collecting since I did play I used them mostly for play even though I wasn't super com super hyper competitive in terms of tournament play and whatnot I did play quite a bit with a number of my friends through college it was uh, one of the ways that I past time uh, when I wasn't uh, you know, studying or doing what college kids normally do. So if you looked at the other videos that I had of the Premier Limited, these, a lot of these cards will be somewhat familiar if you've watched the entirety of the video. But <clears throat> there's all the dark side cards. <clears throat> and to continue along, second half of the set, the light side cards. Again, this covers A New Hope, the non-special edition version, is where most of these characters, or where all these cards are pulled from. Um, then, f first expansion that introduced new cards was actually called A New Hope, and covers the remaining characters and <coughs> images and whatnot that uh, were part of Episode Four but not shown in this first series. So, like for example. You're not seeing Chewbacca as a familiar character because he wasn't available in Premiere. He was in A New Hope. Same thing with R2-D2. This company, Decipher, also did a Star Trek game that I wasn't really into, but um, for those that weren't as interested in 
Star Wars that was available as an alternative card game as well. Uh, I think a lot of us that played this game either tried Magic and didn't like it or got burnt out from Magic and were just looking for an alternative game to play since uh, Magic the Gathering came out in 1993. That's one of those games that a lot of us that played games and may have migrated from things like sports cards may have started with. I know I did and a lot of my friends did as well. We ended up enjoying the uh, semi-competitive scene of this game a little bit better than the uh, semi-competitive uh, um, magic scene at the time. And since many of us only had a limited amount of funds to go to any kind of card collecting, you know, if we stayed with sports cards collecting, that's what we did, but most of us, our money moved on to things like this, and we couldn't afford, you know, baseball or football cards at the same time. Now, granted, the uh, MLB strike in 1994 didn't help. <laughs> You know, the card collecting community for sports cards, at least. And so, <clears throat> these are all of the cards for the Premier Unlimited set. In future videos, I will show more of the other sets of cards that uh, came from this, this game and from Decipher. Now, as I mentioned before, this isn't necessarily going to be a regular series, just something I'll mix in with other videos that I release in addition to those other videos. Um, if you enjoyed watching this, feel free to give a like, uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to, and feel free to leave a comment. All is appreciated. Um, we'll look forward to talking to you in a future video. Thanks and bye.